So you guys, I finished my workout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and peel these layers off so you can be able to see how drenched I became in my sauna suit. First layer. I don't know if you can really see, but it's a darker gray. <laughs> the inside of the sauna suit is dripping wet. <laughs> love it <sighs> so I'm gonna peel off the rest of this so you guys can see <sighs> yeah it's totally dripping wet really 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 drenched <laughs> no for the pants okay the pants. Same thing. Tripping. Wet. With sweat. This is progress, you guys. <laughs> Any health fitness gurus out there, people who are trying their best to get it in health and fitness, you know what I'm going through, okay? So, so I am absolutely done. And these sauna suits, they work. Ah, oh, man, how wonderful was that? I also did do some um, curls. So I did get, you know, my bicep workout on. Um, I wanted to read something to you guys tonight because, yes, we talk about health and fitness and we want our temples to be holy and we want our temples to be fit and we want them to be right. But we also want our inner peace. We want our spiritual peace. We want our spiritual fitness, okay? So I'm gonna read you something. It is February the 20th. This book is called Jesus Calling. All right, so it says, learn to live from your true center in me. I reside in the deepest depths of your being, in internal union with your spirit. It is at this deep level that my peace reigns continuously. You will not find lasting peace in the world around you, in circumstances or in human relationships. The external world is always flux under the curse of death and decay. But there is gold, a gold mine of peace deep within you, waiting to be tapped. Take this time to delve into the riches of my residing presence. I want you to live increasingly from your real center where my love has an eternal grip on you. I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. And you guys could find the reference for that in the book of Colossians chapter 315. So let's go to it. I've already previously found it. So we're in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verses 15. But to be honest with you, I always like to start a little bit above that. So don't mind me. Here we go. Chapter three. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on the things here on earth, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in you. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members which are on earth, 
fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourself once walked when you lived in them. Yes, we all have. So the Lord is saying, set your mind above that. Get past that and put your mind on Christ, not on the worldly things. Let's turn the page. But now you yourself are put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor circumcised, bear them, Cynthian, slave, nor free, but Christ is all and in all. All and in all. No black, no white, no man, no woman. Come on, catch it. So verse 12 goes on to say, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving. Let's forgive one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. So that's telling you right there. If you have some type of gripe, some type of beef, some type of negative energy towards somebody. Guess what? It's your duty to be the bigger person. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but not the word. This is what the word says. This is what God says. He says to be the bigger person so you could go out there, approach it with positive energy and forgive just the way God has forgave you for everything that you have done. All the skeletons in your closet, in his closet, her closet, my closet, our closet, God has forgiven. So you have to do the same thing. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. No man, no woman, no black, no white. We're all children of the King. So it goes on to say, but above all things, put on love, put on love, my God, which is the bond of perfection. Because what? God is love. <laughs> That's why it, it's a bond. That's why it's a perfection because it is God. God is love. So put it on. Now, verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let's keep going. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. <laughs> wow. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. You know, when it says to sing through songs, hymns, what song is in your heart right now? Hmm? What has God done for you that brings you back to a song that's so dear in your heart? You don't have to sing it. You can hum it. You can think it. You can feel it. 
but eventually it's going to come out. <laughs> eventually you're going to, you're going to speak it. You're going to speak positive energy. You're going to sing these joys of Christ, what he has done for you. We also have a reference for Colossians chapter 127. So let's go to chapter, excuse me, guys. 127, chapter 127. Let's take it back a little bit from here. Sacrificial service for Christ. I now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is the church of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. Verse 27, to them God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Let's keep going. Him we, pre we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. 29. To this end, I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. You all, I want you to be so blessed. I really do. Because the word is so adamant. It, it's so clear. You can't get no clearer than that. So what the Lord is saying again. Let's go back. He says, to learn to live from your true sinner in me. He wants you to learn to actually exist and live thriving into who you really are, the center of him. I reside in the deepest depths of your being. He lives in you in the deepest part of your being in eternal union with your spirit. Does it get any clearer than that? It is this deep level that my peace reigns continuously. He's there and at such a deep, vast level, his peace is always there. You will not find lasting peace in this world. It's clear as day. You won't find the peace that you find in Jesus Christ in this world. No, I don't care how much money you got. No. <laughs> I don't care how much success you have. I don't care what woman you have, how fine she is, what kind of man you got, and what kind of swag he has. I don't care where you come from or who you know. I don't care if you're a hustler in the streets, hustler by day or night. I don't care if you are the top one. I don't care if you're the low one. It does not matter where you come from. You cannot obtain the peace that Jesus Christ has. The only way you can get it is through him. Whew. <laughs> so it also says in circumstances or in human relationships. No, you won't find this once again in any human things. The external world is always in flux under the curse of death and decay. Every single moment, all the sins of the world, it's always under death. There's nothing out there for you. Nope. You need to get in that word. The living word, this is your bread, this is your milk, this is your water, your replenishing, your honey, your, your everything. This is, this is your bread of life. There's nothing out there for you, okay? It's nothing but the devil out there trying to kill, steal, and destroy things. And you're included in it. That's why we got to stay fulfilled with the blood of Christ. We have to put that armor on. We have to be careful, we have to. So therefore, it goes on to say, but there is a gold mine 
there's treasure, a gold mine that you got access to. And no, we're not talking about just dollar bills, but guess what? The Lord provides that too. You know that song by Mary Mary? It's the God in me. Hey, it's the God in me. Hey, it's the God in me. Because they go on to say they cash a whole lot of checks or they write a lot of checks with a whole lot of zeros, basically saying they ain't even got the money, but it's the God in them that moves these mountains. It's the faith in them that usher in these blessings. It's, it's the God in them. It is Jesus Christ who is working on their behalf as their lifeline. He's the one that's in control of all of this. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So it goes on to say, Again, but there is a gold mine of peace deep within you. Yeah. Yeah, you can obtain that peace. It's, it's way deep in you and it's more precious than diamonds and jewels. It's, it's priceless. Waiting for you to tap into it. Take time to delve into the riches of my residing presence. So take time. Take any time out to just think. Spend time with God. Read his word. Enjoy and indulge in what he has in store for you. Again, I want you to live. He wants you to live. He doesn't want you to die. He wants you to live increasingly from your real center. He wants you to grow. He wants you to blossom. He wants you to evolve. He wants you to be on a whole different level with him. Amen. Where my love has an eternal grip on you. Ain't nothing you could do about it. I'm trying to tell you right now. Ain't nothing you could do about it. He has an eternal grip on you. His hands is always on you. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter where you've been, no matter where you're going, he still has an eternal grip on you. And, and you wonder like, how could God still love me after everything I've done did? How can he still love me? Well, it's just the type of God we serve. It's not like any man, no human, no woman, no man. That's what he's trying to get you to understand that you can't obtain these things from the world. You got to obtain it through him. And I'm trying to tell you as a witness that this is real. This is real. I don't have a whole lot of money. I don't have a whole lot of this. I don't have a whole lot of that. Sometimes I'll be broke. No, no gas in my car. Sometimes I'm like, what am I going to do? Eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and have some water. Or sometimes <laughs> when God will make me blush and he makes my kids blush or my family blush and he just opens those windows of heaven and he just blow out these blessings upon us and he says I am God so when you see certain things when you read certain things especially on my post or my vlogs know that I'm sharing these things with you because I'm nobody special I'm nobody different I'm just a woman of God who wants to share and, and, and pass on this light, this gift, this, this, this gift of life, of salvation that he has for all of us. And it feels so good. I just want all my brothers and sisters of Christ in Christ to make it, make it to him to get his salvation, make it to him. He says, I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. Again, I am Christ in you. He's telling us. He's the Christ in us. The hope of glory. You all, this is a message coming to you from the Victory Lighthouse. And before I end, I want to share also a couple of other things. I've gone on my vlogs and I've posted various things about this medication that I take. It has to do with my thyroid. I am on a journey to heal my thyroid naturally. I'm tired of the medications. I'm tired of these things. And so I am looking into holistic 
health, okay, mind, body, and soul. God has given us every single medication out there through our foods that we eat. Yeah. So um, I am increasing things into my diet. Um, I'm eating a lot of dark green leafy vegetables. I I love my spinach, my kale. I love my tomatoes. I love my uh, avocados. I, I love my um, bell peppers and I love my cilantros and just all these types of things, but mostly dark green leafy vegetables. Um, I pick up little things from the grocery store. Have you ever been to the grocery store and you see like these little magazines, little catalogs? And this one is from um, Prevention, uh, your healthiest you. So, you know, you could check out a few things and I'll share it with you so that you could start to, you know, blossom and um, go ahead and keep yourself right because God puts, again, everything that you need through proper eating, proper nutritional value foods so your body can thrive and we can beat these illnesses and cancers and diseases and things of that nature. So, okay, so here's a few recipes that should be good. I'll read it off. The first one is an avocado pepper toast. Okay, you got a good look at that. And so as you can see, it's... um. It's combined with an egg to a heart healthy avocado for more static, uh, what is that? Statating <laughs> snack drizzle with hot sauce if desired. So they got the fresh parsley there, one poached egg, roasted bell pepper, the red one, avocado mash with a pinch of salt and pepper, whole grain toast, and the nutrition facts is um, 256 calories, okay? 12 grams of protein, Ooh. 21 grams of carbs, five grams of fiber, only two grams of sugar, 13 grams of fat, which is the good fats, <laughs> Three grams of saturated fat, which is good because it's low. We don't want a whole lot of saturated fat. 186 milligrams of cholesterol and 599 milligrams of sodium. And we want to stay, you know, clear of so much salt in our diet. So um, they go on to have stuff like sweet potato scramble. So, it, it, you know, all these things have such uh, nutritional value and they sound very, very tasty. Um, I am soon to to prepare these things and try them out. I surely do hope that, you know, one of these days, you know, I'll get on here and we'll cook together. We'll put this stuff together, okay? I mean, I don't see like it being a big deal or whatever. So um, anyhow, I just wanted to share that all with you. And ooh, they got shrimp. Ooh, I love shrimp. Um, they got shrimp and cucumber slices. Take a peek at that, okay? And Again, these are all really good, healthy foods, which can help fight off uh, illnesses and diseases and, you know, keep us all healthy and we can still enjoy the very many foods that we like, but we just have to take heed to what's really going on, you know? So let's start living healthy and being the healthiest you. And I just thank you all for tuning in. And uh, I, I really want you to be blessed with the word of God tonight. And uh, again, with uh, this here, the healthiest you magazine, the prevention, and that's key. Prevent, prevent, prevent things from happening before it happens. You know, steer clear of things. And that has to do with the spiritual aspect too. If you know it's not right and God is giving you that intuition that you don't need to be there or you don't need to do those things, stick with that. It might save your life. Okay. Anyways, I want you all to be blessed. God bless you. I love you in the name of Jesus. You are my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Victoria coming to you from the Victory Lighthouse and have a wonderful, wonderful night.